all right guys first day back in the shop from our little road trip here's uh steve's uh gt fox all his parts he's he texted me last night said he's got a lot more uh parts coming from late model resto so can't wait to see what he got here's brent texting morgan again no snapchat guys snapchat add us on snapchat here is the uh, fox we didn't unload it last night so we took the uh the Tim, look, our plug didn't work. It's still leaking. So anyway, we didn't unload it last night because we got in late. We returned the truck this morning. So now we're going to back the trailer in and uh, put it next to uh, Steve's car. But first, I think we're going to pressure wash uh, Steve's engine bay. That way uh, it can be drying, and then we'll get uh, Tim's car in here, and uh, then we'll get started. We are going to finish up um, the pro, the uh, not pro charge, the uh, turbo car first. I'm going to get it ready to paint. It's too cold to paint today. But it's going to be 68 in, uh, I think I think it's going to be 55, 58 tomorrow and then 68 the next day. So I'm going to paint it then when it's cooler. Right now it's like 47, something like that. So it's pretty cold, too cold to paint, but I will prep it. That way it'll be ready. All the other parts are already painted. we got Babs tucked away in the paint booth. Christian's car hanging out. David's car, He's pick, he did confirm he's picking up the 10th. So that's good. Um, Brent's best friend just showed up in some kind of Civic. We're excited to start working on your all's cars. So, um, got a couple more Fox bodies coming in at the end of the month. <clears throat> we got Bruce's coming in from uh, New York. Actually, I got a whole list. We got Mike's from Maryland. We got Chris Ladd coming in. We got Joe from Florida coming in. So, anyway, we got a whole lot of y'all coming in. So, um, we're excited to do that. Getting a lot of emails from you guys wanting work, and I appreciate it shows that we're actually doing something right that you guys want to travel halfway across the country just for us to work on it and then be on the uh, channel so it's uh pretty awesome and uh brent stoked as well and he's actually parting out his pro charge car so if any of y'all want some parts hit him up the yeah, car was black i keep it but i don't want to so anyways all right guys we went and had some fun this uh week and uh drove it a long time so what this is called is a uh, impact brake or a bubble on a tire on the sidewall so uh, it's only got like 40 PSI in it right now. I don't want to air it up too much because it'll probably blow. But as you can see, it's kind of a new tire. I think Tyler just had it put on there. No, I didn't. Logan did. Logan did. Anyways, yeah. we honestly, I don't think we did it. I think it was already small it was when like we that. first got yep, it. Yeah. So uh, that's this is the this is the tire we pulled the chunk of like bone out. Yep. So, so we already patch the ones. Tim's 92 LX. This whole driver's side's been painted before. You can see the uh, flake and clear coat. Little uh, dent on the side there. We're just doing a walk around because this is the first time we got it off the trailer. Um, big uh, cluster in the wiring harness. We'll probably get a, a new one because it's just been spliced so many times. We're going to put the tubular K member in it, shave the engine bay. He actually ordered um, not Scott Rod panels, but the smooth panels from uh, late model resto um, We'll show you those later that door is locked and out Brent has the keys He's already got Cobra brakes in the front Cobra R's with brand new meat He's got the uh, Cobra rear end with the correct Cobra brakes with the bracket We're gonna tint the tail lights He's got the three-inch exhaust. I think we're gonna put a new gas tank in it because this one's pretty rusty 
Um, we might paint the underneath of it. Uh, he's on the fence about that. We're putting the tubular K member in it, new door handles. Uh, I think he's going to get new uh, window strip for that. Um, I don't know. I don't know. I don't even remember what we're doing in the interior if we are doing anything. Um, he's got the other rear bumper. And then we're just doing the shave and uh, new rivets in the front. Straighten out the core support a little bit because as you can see, someone painted it like kind of like a an orange red right here and they didn't even scuff at all so this shit's just flaking off someone half-assed tried doing some hood pins that are junk so uh yeah we got our workout our work cut out for this one so definitely we're gonna shave that pinch weld off right there like i did on my notch make it smooth the same thing we're gonna do to steve's car as well so what do you think about it brent i think it's a clean car I it's a very it's clean car for being a connecticut car all its life yep. so we're excited to take it apart. Yeah, it's actually in way better shape than Steve's. Sorry, Steve. Sorry, Steve. But anyway, we got to show you some stuff. You got a little rust. You got rust right here that's going right into the right into the uh, inside. Cow's messed up, as you know. But your windshield's leaking. Someone half-ass glued these in theirself. So when we pressure washed all the gunk out of here, the whole dash got wet. So that's that needs to have a, the. Uh, window replaced and uh, reset this rear is the same way they actually glued the uh, rear uh, moldings in so that kind of sucks but i mean we just got to tell you guys you know how it is and what what's going on so still a solid car but it's just the paint job on this is horrible they like all the edges flaked off so it used to be that Cabernet red, then white, and then red again. And they like didn't even scuff or sand the damn thing. You can see it was just flaking off in the back right there. So anyway, this is probably the same way with this uh, repainted uh, on this side. But anyway, we're not talking down the cars. We're just telling you the problems. We're going to fix them and uh, we'll be set. We just don't want to fix them and then not tell you guys why we fixed them. But that, that's some of the reasons why we are fixing these parts that we're showing. But yeah, solid car. I love the green. I cannot wait to do green. We've done so much blue and fucking red. Yeah. That car is going Oxford white. This is going factory in more green. This is Oxford white like of an 03 Cobra. So it's going to look really good. Not sure what color interior he's going to do. I don't know if he's doing black or stained with the red. Either way, it'll look good with the Oxford white. He ordered a new core support. It's coming in the mail. All Steve's parts are right there. Uh, should be getting some more by the end of the week. Um... I think he ordered a rear bumper and some other stuff like that. We'll go over that. And uh, we got to get a parts list for Tim. I think he's going to order new bolts and some stuff like that. There's the K member in the back right there. I think it's uh, UPR. He's got brand new smoked headlights. So we're going to smoke the back to match. Love the exhaust on this. Uh, it's like three inch all the way up to the mid pipe. And um, yeah, so that's just the first day in the shop with him. We're just going over them, kind of readjusting to get back in the work schedule. We've been gone for 10 days, so just um, going over it with you guys. It is Halloween, so uh, I think Brent and I are going to get some candy later. We're going to do the body work on this. Like I said, it's going to be warm in the next couple days, and we'll paint it when it's warm. It's like fucking 49 right now. I was sweating when we were unloading it, but now I'm kind of cold again. So we're going to clean up the rest of the shop, and... Uh, I guess we're going to put the brake calipers on that. We'll show you guys doing that. Lower it down on its own weight. Roll it out. Do the body work. We're going to put Tim's car over here. Clean some stuff up. And yeah. So anyway, video's not over yet. So we'll be back in a bit. All right. We've got Alex's car up on the lift. Checking the training fluid. Brent just uh, put the... Uh, clutch fork uh, cover on. We just put oil in it, fresh antifreeze. We gotta add a little bit of power steering fluid. Anyway, now we are putting his brakes together. And Christian, I don't think you've ever seen this painting I got done for you. This is for your birthday, Christian. But you uh, didn't go to Carlisle, so I took it to Carlisle for you, but you didn't show up, so I didn't give it to you during your birthday. So that's ready for you, brother. And we're going to get one made for your black car, too, when we get it done.
So anyway, we're going to put the, uh, we got new brake pads right here. And uh, we're going to put them on and load up the calipers. And then we're going to bolt them on and uh, we'll be set. So uh, let's do that right now. Just got the brand new driver side rotor on the uh, race red calipers with uh, the signature charcoal bracket new pins anti rider clips already on the pads and a new brake hose so uh, this side's looking mint got the new oil filter right there we actually uh, put some oil in it since it has long uh, feed lines and we use the uh, 4.6 oil filter on it because the uh, blow-off valve is right there in the way so that kind of just worked out perfect. So we're tightening down and then we're gonna do the exact same thing on the other side. We already got this caliper preloaded. We just gotta put the uh, hose on and then the rotor and we're doing the exact same thing. <laughs> So we got both uh, sides on. Brent's gonna put that brake hose on, then we're gonna bleed the brakes real quick. And then, hopefully it's getting on about five o'clock. Hopefully the guy shows up to look at Brent's uh, four-eyed fox body he has for sale. And uh, the one that's been in the previous video is the black one. And then he's gonna sell that, and then uh, move on to another project. He's selling his uh, Procharge car too, or parting it out, either or. I just think it's cool having all five Fox bodies right here. Okay, well, four Fox bodies. David's is a SN95, but he's got a brand new bumper in the box. We just stuck that to try to be cool. So we actually have a lot more room. We could actually fit another car there if we wanted to. But we did these, um, these like uh, spreadsheets of like what's going on what everything's getting damn autofocus I know you guys hate it but I'm sorry so anyway just so we remember what we're doing to each car because pretty soon we're gonna get probably three more Fox bodies so it's kinda like you would see at like another shop or something or like a hospital bed it tells you the patient and these are our patients right now so Tells us what's wrong with them, what they're going to get, and all that kind of stuff. So, I don't know. It's just kind of to keep us organized. We're going to get bins. So, that way when we take everything apart, we'll be like, oh, this is Tim's green, you know, 92LX, Steve's red, you know, 89 GT, stuff like that. And then we'll put all the parts in there, even if we're not going to use them or not, just so that we stay organized. And then we can just tuck them in the, stack them against the wall back there and stuff like that. So, getting ready to bleed the brakes. And then we'll be set on that, throw some mags on the front, set it down, and then tomorrow is uh, sand prep, tape up, and then either tomorrow, if it's cool or warm enough, we're going to paint it, and then if not, we're going to paint it uh, the next day, which would be Thursday, when it's supposed to be like 68. 
and then uh, we'll be set. So uh, we're gonna end the video for today. Bleed this stuff. And I hope you guys uh, like the shop now with these uh, new projects in here. I think it looks pretty tit, so we'll see you later. Tell, tell everybody bye, Brent. See you guys. Fox Body Monday's over. I'm on